when I saw the story that Putin came out and said, I just was wrestling a bear here about 10 minutes ago after <laughs> killing a polar bear and uh, clubbing. Well, I clubbed it to death with a baby seal. And uh, I called up Assad and I said, hey, you're going to give me your chemical weapons. And he said, okay, dude. After he made that statement, and then the president said, <laughs> okay, um, the, the, we could do that. All right, we could do that. I thought to myself, A, we're done as a superpower. We, he, he has just put the final nail in the coffin. He has somehow or another found a way. Uh, by the way, mm-hmm. tell uh, Vladimir that uh, I'm going to have some more latitude and I'm going to be able to take care of some things for him uh, after the election. Maybe this is one of those things that he was going to take care of. Somehow or another, elevate Vladimir Putin and Russia as the lone superpower in the world. Because I don't know if you noticed that, but the chair is just switched at the table. Vladimir Putin and Russia is the leading superpower in the world. They dictate the terms. They yep. they create the peace. They yeah. do all the things They're that we're the supposed ones. to be doing. We have... Lost our superpower status this week. Write it down in your calendars, because this is the week that America lost its superpower and status. There's so much responsibility with that. I'm so glad. It was so oh, much, yeah. it was no, such I a haven't. hassle. Yeah, I know. I'm fine with it.